In this series of videos, I'm going to take you through how to create a drag and drop game in, uh, in Game Maker. Uh, we're going to start simply by creating sprites and then creating objects from the sprites. So remember that you must think about um, objects in the game as wearing sprites. So a sprite is a costume. Um, as I've said to, uh, to some of my other classes, um, to think about it in the way that if I was to marry somebody, I wouldn't marry the wedding dress. Okay, that's the sprite. I marry the person inside the dress, which is the object, okay, or the person. So um, that's the way that I always think about objects and sprites, uh, just to, uh, to distinguish between the two different uh, uh, types of, um, of instance in, uh, in Game Maker. So I've created a brand new game. There's nothing uh, uh, in this at all at the moment. So I'm going to show you firstly how to um, create a sprite and then how to import a sprite and then how to create an object from the sprite because you can't do anything in Game Maker um, with sprites, okay? Um, you have to use objects to interact in the game. So um, it, the sprites, like I say, the, the objects wear the sprites as costumes. So I'm gonna right click on the sprites and I'm gonna create and I'm gonna go sprite. Now it's important that you follow naming conventions. What that means is sprites should be called SPR underscore and then a uh, specific name. Okay, whatever name you, you, you want to go with. Um, be careful of using capital letters. Game Maker doesn't like capital letters. So I'll always use lowercase letters uh, when I create object and sprite names. So sprites begin with SPR underscore. And I'm gonna start by creating my character. So I'm gonna call this player. Okay, and then I can click on the edit image. You can see it here, uh, I've got the sizes as well before I click edit image, I've got the size of my sprite. Uh, you can resize by clicking on this button here and resizing here and here. Okay, or you can resize the canvas here and here. Um, but I'm gonna keep it at uh, 64 by 64 for now. So I'm gonna go on edit image. And when I click on the edit image, you can now see that I've got um, a bitmap drawing screen and I can use um, various tools to draw my uh, shape on screen and I've got different colors. So this one here is the um, left mouse button color. This one here is the right mouse button color. Um, so let's change that to, I'll keep it as white because the background is, uh, is black in game. So I, I'll keep it to white for now. So I'm just gonna draw um, a simple character. So I'll use the, um, the ellipse tool to draw the head. <coughs> And I'll use the pen tool to draw a very um, dodgy looking character. Okay. Okay, so it looks a bit strange, doesn't he? Um, I'll put uh, some eyes there, and I'll put a nose there, and a mouth there. Okay, and I'll put a little ear by there. And then let's use a different color. Let's use uh, that color. And he's got some blonde hair. Okay. Okay. So that's how I draw a character. I can fill that as well. So let's give me a, um, a fleshy type of color. Uh, so let's go onto the paint pot tool very quickly. And let's shade. Oh, God. That's not a fleshy color, is it? Let's uh, go for something like. That's a bit better. Um, like that, and we'll fill his colour, his clothes in red. There we go. Okay, so there's a strange looking character. I can close down the sprite now, and you can see that I've got my sprite in the game, uh, or at least in the in Game Maker. Uh, this icon here, this is the anchor, so that is where that sprite is going to rotate around. So if I was to rotate that in game, it would rotate around that point, not around the centre point. So it's always good practice to drop the list down there and select middle center and that puts the, the rotation point around the middle and you can move that wherever you want to okay wherever you think it's more appropriate so i'm going to leave it there okay so that's how i um draw a character right so let's delete this sprite and i'll show you how to import a character so let's delete that sprite okay right so i'm going to create a new sprite Give it the same name, SPR underscore player. OK, 
Okay, and this time I'm going to import an image. So you should have already created your sprites anyway. So I'm going to import this image and it will open up a window for me. I'm going to go to where I've saved my image I'm going to use and there it is there. I'm going to double click it. It says importing a sprite is, an un is not an undoable action. So that means that you can't undo it once it's done. Do you want to continue? It always says that. Click yes and there's my sprite imported. Okay, so that's the sprite I'm going to use uh, in my game. So I can close this then. So now, in order to use this, I need to create um, an object from the sprite. So if I right click on objects and I create object, this is going to be the object for my player. So naming conventions here start with obj underscore, and I'm going to give it the same name as the sprite player. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the sprite that I want to use on this object. So I'm going to select no sprite, sprites, and the player object, and the player sprite. And you can see that that sprite is now attached to my player. So what I'm going to do now um, is to draw a wall tile, um, a monster, and a bullet. Uh, and I'm going to draw the sprites for those, and I'm going to create objects for them. And I shall see you in the next video.